see me. I'm really hoping that you can see me. My, my whole, my computer decided, hey, guess what? I'm not gonna work for you. So anyway, I thought I'd just get on here from my phone and let me see these fun filters that I can put on. How about, I don't like that. But anyway, I thought I would just get on and literally, um, we'll do that one, we'll do that one. I would just get on and I, as people are getting on, hey, press your subscribe button. All right, I see, I see shalom. So hello, shalom. And I like to say, hey, don't scroll and roll because I want to prophesy over you tonight. And uh, it's a little different because my computer system decided, guess what, I'm on a break. So let me open up my, let me open up my computer so I can see everyone for my YouTube channel. But I thought I wanna sing you my newest soaking that we just literally are releasing and it should be uploading tonight. I thought it was uploading this week. Uh, oh, there we go. All right, there I am, all right. My, I got my new sh my new top. Just so you know, this I just got this from um, White House Black Market. I love their clothes; they last forever. Okay, and I love. I always go into their final sale, and I buy White House Black Market, and I am a six. So I can just get six and it fits. And I just got this new top from White House Black Market. And there you go. Let's see. All right. And hello, Melissa, my friend. So I like to say don't scroll and roll because I want to I wanna sing just the chorus of my new soaking, which should be up. Uh, I'm hoping tonight, but we'll see. Oh, where's my, okay. T break, break time, break out, break. Hold on, hold on. I had to move over. I had to move because I was all set up at that piano and I had to move over here to this one. So anyway, um, if you're just getting on, I'm just on YouTube. I'm going to go to Facebook next. If you're just getting on, press subscribe so that you know when we're going to be on and hopefully you can hear me well. And hopefully, can you hear my piano so that it doesn't just sound like my voice. And so, hello. Let me say hello to some people. I love this. Melissa. Oh, I love you. Oh, my gosh. Um, okay, so is it, how do I say your name? Shalom. T-I-A-N-K-A. -A. You're going to have to write that out phonetically so I, can, so I can say it. And hello, Matt. And hello, Catherine. And Melissa and Catherine from Toronto and Shirley and is it Elisa from Canada and Latoya Hemingway. Oh my gosh. A uh, couple things. I have a brand new book called 30 Days of Praying the Psalms. I forgot the name. Uh, King David's Keys for Victory. It is the first 30 psalms psalm 1 through 30 i don't just do the most popular psalms i take it from psalm 1 to 30 and i pull out just nuggets that i have used to fight battles for years and years and i just believe that this is how david fought his battles and hopefully my phone's not gonna be falling but Anyway, and as you can see, I need to get my bangs cut. You can get this. I'm going to write it at, let me see if I, Julie Meyer Ministries.com. All right. You can get it there. And I love this book because it is my blood, sweat, and tears for the last four, four. Four. Okay, this this is not going to work. My phone. For the last four decades of living my life out of the Psalms, and there's just really amazing nuggets in here. And at that same website, you can sign up for my daily devotionals that go hand in hand with this. 
Uh, we're singing our way through the Psalms. I have a, um, you can check that out at intotheriver.net. It's my online community where we are singing our way through the Psalms, bringing the Psalms into our everyday life. Because David got breakthrough, we should get breakthrough, all right? And this month, however, as you're on, don't scroll and roll. I want to sing you this chorus because this month I actually sang Song of Solomon 2 because I think Psalms and Song of Solomon go perfect together. So here's my chorus for um, Song of Solomon 2, which is really, um, it is, it is, what? Holiness 101 or, um, you know, finding our beauty before the Lord, even in our weakness. And at the very beginning of Song of Solomon, she says, I am a rose. So here's our chorus. And if you're having trouble, like with, you know, like, ah, I, I don't know if I like me. Well, guess what? God loves you, okay? And he loves your season. So let me sing this to you because I love it. And it goes. I am a rose. I am a rose bloom. I am a rose, the lily of the valley. I am a rose, you can sing it with me. I am a rose blooming. I am a rose. The lily of the valley. I love this part. A wild flower picked by the plains of Sharon. A rose that grows in deep, deep canyons. I am truly his rose. The very theme of his song. I am the rose. Oh, I think that's so pretty. Anyway, okay. So that's my chorus. This month, uh, I just sang through Song of Solomon 2 because sometimes the way we actually live it out is we got to sing it. And when we sing the Bible, I'm telling you, those words go straight into our core, and it becomes a, it becomes words that we don't just memorize, but it becomes words that we actually become. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna sing that a couple times. Check out our. Um, let me see. Into the river dot net check that out check out that uh, uh check out our our website i would love to have you jump into the river with us where we're singing our way through the by through the psalms and we have over 80 80, 80 that's amazing 80 hours of soaking in the psalms and at christmas time i always soak i sing out straight from the word the christmas story and this is how we get the word in us we sing it so anyway okay i like to say don't scroll and roll because i want to prophesy i want to prophesy to you okay okay melissa I, I i just see your name i can't see your I don't know. I don't know exactly who you are, but you're from Kansas City, Missouri, and that is my um, uh, my home ground. Okay, so Melissa, I I read. I I see Melissa Hub. Feel for you is like when I when I saw your last name, and hello Deborah. Okay, as you get on, say where you're watching from, and let me know how I can pray for you. Uh, and let your friends know, hey, I'm on. I want to prophesy over you tonight. 
but and I'm going to sing that chorus again so we can get it on the inside of us. So Melissa, when I said your name, Melissa Hupp, it's like almost like I heard like you're in the army, like, you know, that Hupp, two, three, four, Hupp, two, three, four. And I almost feel as if maybe you just feel like in your life you are going from lesson to lesson to lesson to lesson. Maybe you feel like you're in the army, like it's just hop, two, three, four, you know, it's just do this, do that, do this, do that. And I feel like there's so much happening, Melissa, that your heart needs a little time to catch up. And you know what, Melissa? That's okay. And I feel like this is what I believe. The right people get on at the right time to hear the right message. And I feel like, Melissa, the Lord is saying to you tonight, hey, it's okay. It's okay. We're going to take a time out from all of these exercises that you've been learning in life because I feel like the Lord has you on. I just see a fast track. Um, and your heart maybe is limping just a little because of life. Maybe, I don't know if you're married and have children. I have this feeling maybe you are. Um, and there's a lot of family that, um, you know, family's always about the heart because I love my family, but... I just feel like the Lord says to you, Melissa, he's giving you a timeout. I mean, a good timeout. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. The chaos is on reprieve. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're, 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 we're break. It's a recess. And I feel like yeah, you're in, what is it? Song of Solomon, where it says, um, do not awaken love before it's time. It's Song of Solomon. Two, seven. I feel like this is the season that the Lord is taking you on, Melissa. Hup. And, and, and in this, it says, promise me a woman of Jerusalem. That's everybody around us that wants us to get it together so that we can help them. You know, it's, it's, the, it's the people that are asking the questions, sometimes that don't actually do the journey. They just ask the questions. If you have any of those people in your life. But sometimes they look at your life and they actually begin to say yes to Jesus. But it says, do not awaken love until the time is right. And you know what that I've heard Mike Bickle say and, and Gary uh, Weens, you know, just it's like it's like the Lord is saying, whoa, 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 just let her set a little bit. She doesn't have to think about tomorrow. She doesn't have to think about the next season and the next. That's just let's just give her some time to sit here and process and think about and work through and walk through the last i feel like it's the last four seasons of your life and you know what melissa the lord's gonna heal you and i just want to give you permission i feel like the lord is giving you permission just whoa to say, whoa, 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 this is, this is just a break. I'm just taking a little, I'm, I'm not moving on to the next season and the next, no, no, no. I'm going to sit right here and I'm going to let my heart catch up to my season. And it's actually, Melissa, I feel like this is going to be such a beautiful season. And we are, if you're in America, we're going into Thanksgiving and and we're going into Christmas, but you know what? I feel like the Lord says, take your time. Just stroll through the garden and let your heart catch up to where your body and your mind has actually been in the last four seasons. And I just feel like, you know what? It's okay if all the decorations don't get put up. It's okay. Put up, put up what you're, put up the ones that make your heart have a lot of joy. But I just feel like the Lord is inviting you to a season of rest and ponder. And in that ponder, 
the Holy Spirit is going to be like healing oil to your heart and heal the deepest places. And he is giving you time for your heart to catch up to your last four seasons. But I feel like the Lord says, your, your body and your mind have actually walked through these seasons very, very well. <laughs> very, very well. But it's like your heart needs some time to catch up and the Lord's giving that to you. And I just feel like I, I want to encourage you and to everyone watching that, that He is the God of impossibilities. If it is impossible, if you say like, this is impossible, guess what? That's what he does the best. What he does the best is the impossible. So I just encourage you with that, Melissa, give your time, give yourself time to breathe. Just breathe and give yourself time to rest. So anyway, amen. And you know what? As I'm sharing this, everyone on YouTube, if this is you, great. You just reach up and you grab it for you. So hello, I like to say Darren from British Columbia and Shirley, um, you need a time of healing. Okay. Is that a good, a Teresa from Meriden, Deborah and Sandra from Alabama. It's later in Alabama. And Pearls in Bloom. I love that. Okay. So Pearls in Bloom. You know how you get a really beautiful pearl. It is the it is the sand inside the shell that actually grates on the pearl. So Pearls in Bloom. I feel like for you the Lord is saying, hey, even through the Christmas season, give yourself lots of grace because I feel like your name is literally what you're going to be walking through. And now the beauty is you're going to be around friends and people that love you. But I feel like the Lord is doing a deep work in you pearls in bloom because you know what in order for pearls to bloom the sand gets in there and grates and grates and rubs and refines and refines and i feel like in the natural it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel good to the mind it doesn't seem fair uh, I feel like that could be a, a, a sentence that the enemy tries to throw at you. This isn't fair, but you know what? Sometimes the Lord lets people be in our life who really grate on us. Where we're like, if they could just be removed, everything would be great. But the Lord is, I feel like pearls in bloom. What he's saying is that he's put people around you that are going to help you shine in beauty and perfection and he's just giving you a heads up hey just just remember your name and study the pearl i want to encourage you pearls in bloom go look up on youtube how pearls are formed and everybody loves pearls but i don't know that most people like refining that process of grading and refining and over and over and over and over and you know what it's day and night and night and day that's what he does and i i just i just feel like he's he all through this season He's going to be refining and grading and, and he's giving you a heads up so that you let the process have its complete work in you so that literally pearls in bloom. I tell you what, I feel that by the first of the year, you're going to be blooming. I feel like he's put like a season on it, like for the next six to seven weeks, eight weeks, maybe seven. But when, 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 when the calendar changes in 2023, you're going to look like a, a, a priceless, priceless pearl.
and it's going to be deep. It, it's going to be not just who you are in public, but he's doing a deep work to who you are in private. And anyway, God bless you. And he's just giving that you, he's giving you that heads up so that when things suddenly don't work out or people start to really bug you and get on your nerves, he's saying, heads up, heads up. No, no, no. This is part of that grading and part of that refining. So just embrace it. Come on. Who wants that prophetic word? I mean it, you know, that's a good, that's good news if we know um, what God's doing in our life. Amen. So, and hello, little Kimmy. Uh, I'm so glad you're here. Pearls and Bloom and Celeste and Cindy. Fifth, uh, Psalm 57. That's what I think. Hello. And is it, how do I say, I know I've talked with you, Tanya Bell. All right. From Miami, Florida. I think I've prophesied to you before. And Diane Walton, uh, and Victoria, and Elisa and Diane and Pearls and Bloom and Angel. Um, Angel, uh, this is what I feel like. Um, it's Angel Carrie. Um, and I just I just saw your your name and the picture that I got is literally the like you know Psalms um, 91 tells us that the the Lord sends out his angels and they bear us up in their hands they guard us in all of our ways lest our foot trip on a rock and I feel like he has sent out he has sent out his angels uh, angel he has sent out those angels of Psalm 91. I don't know if you have some fear in your life, but I just feel like the Lord is dissipating all fear. He is, and I feel like you're going to see heaven involved in your life, in your family, answering prayers that you've prayed. Um, uh, but I just, I just see the Lord and his angelic host carrying you. Uh, and I feel like he is helping you. And you're going to see and realize this extra help uh, from heaven to get you from plan A to plan B. Or maybe it's plan L to plan M because you're a little bit further along in the story um, and I feel like in the same way that you're going to be so aware of this help from heaven involved in your life, that literally you're going to also be a help to all those around you. Um, and I feel like the Lord is going to open amazing doors for you to share about how he helped you. He gave you strength. He gave you guidance. Uh, in this in this next beautiful season because angel you truly are an angel and I want to encourage you to read Psalm 91 and it's the promise of God sending his angels out to give us help they are going to be real in your life we don't worship angels we don't pray to angels but God does send them forth. And I'm so good, glad, Angel, you said, amen, I'm experiencing this. Um, I just pray that the Lord gives you eyes to see the angelic host that he's got around you because I see a host around you helping, guiding, opening doors, closing doors. Angel, I feel like there's some doors that are going to close. Um, that's just a heads up because uh, I feel like the Lord is going to lead you a different way in a couple of things and it's going to feel like, oh, oh no, don't close that door, but God's got a better plan. So anyway, that's, that's good. That's good. Amen. That's good. I, I believe you're going to experience and, and have such an awareness of an angelic host around you. And then you're simply going to share the testimonies. An angel, you're going to be a great 
help and a great strength to all those around you. Amen. I love that. Come on. That's good. And let me see, Merlande, let me know where you're watching from on YouTube. Uh, I'm just, I'm like saying, don't scroll and roll. I want to prophesy to a couple more people. Also let you know about, I have a brand new CD called Psalm Diaries that you can get at juliemeyerministries.com. It's soaking to the first five psalms where I'm singing them word for word so that we can get them in our core. And I also have a new book called 30 Days of Praying the Psalms. It's the first 30 psalms uh, that, that I just write and I write about the tools, the equipping tools that I have gleaned from these Psalms for the last four decades, four, it's crazy. And I'm just getting ready to start my next book, which is Psalm 31 through 60. I want to write about everything I've gleaned from these Psalms, not just the most popular, but all of them. So anyway, amen, amen. So Merlanda, Merlanda from Georgia and Jay Harrison from Mississippi and Deborah um, and Celeste, I love Celeste from Michigan. I bet Michigan is cold. Diane Walton, uh, Lancaster and Diane, I don't know if I've prophesied to you before, but I just see media around you. Um, I, I just see, I see, I see media and I see like things that the, that's going to help families. It's not just, um, one generation, but it's generations that have been before you that are older, but also generations that come after you. And I just feel like, um, the Lord has made, made you a poet and maybe you don't know it, or maybe you do. But I feel like the Lord is going to give you just some maybe devotionals, poetry. I'm not for sure how he's going to unwrap it. But it's very, very simple things that the Lord, I feel like it's already in you that you just need to get on paper or you need to get your own YouTube channel. Maybe you have one and just just tell the stories. That's what I get. Tell the stories because in your story, there is life. There's hope when it seemed like it was hopeless. There's light when it seemed like it was the darkest. Uh, there's healing when it seemed like there was no way. The Lord made a way for you. And, uh, I just feel like your stories and your testimonies, Diane Walton, the Lord's going to breathe upon. And you need to get those written down and spoken loud. Okay? Amen. That's really good. I love that. God bless you. Maybe you maybe you just do what I'm doing. You just get on and encourage people and sing the Psalms or... Uh, but but that your stories need to, to get out. They're beautiful. So, hey, uh, a key rod, please pray for chest infection. Oh, man. I don't know if this is for you or for Rick Rodriguez, but we want to pray for him. Uh, Sean Davis from Parksburg. Is it West Virginia? Singing the Psalms like David and prophesying. Amen. Okay, so... I don't know who that I've seen a couple of you that have asked for healing. So what I want to do is give you Psalm 30 verse two out of the passion translation. Oh Lord, my healing God, I cried out for a miracle and you healed me. There are three or four of you that are asking for healing. So here is your healing prayer. I love it. So Diane Walton says, amen. Thank you. I received that. You are spot on. Come on, somebody. That is good news. If you're just getting on, I'm a Julie Meyer and I'm just, I'm saying don't scroll and roll. I want to prophesy over a couple more people. Normally I do this on Tuesdays. It looks a little different, but my computer said I'm taking a break. So it looks different tonight. Uh, okay, so here is your chorus. 
if you need healing or if you know somebody that does. And it's Psalm 30, verse 2, and it goes like this. And O oh Lord, my healing God, I cried out for a miracle. O oh Lord, my healing God, and you healed me. We go again. O oh Lord, my healing God, I cried out for a miracle. O oh Lord, my healing God, and you healed me. And the Passion Translation says, Now here I am, alive and well, fully restored. So Lord, I just lift up every single person that needs healing. We lift up uh, Ramona, Miranda's sister. We lift up Rick, who is reigns of healing. We lift up your dad that he would be healed, that his heart would be at 100% heal and whole. Um, we lift up Kel or Key Rod, uh, that the chest infection in Jesus' name would be healed and dissipated. We say, be healed in the name of Jesus. And we sing Psalm 30 verse 2 over you in Jesus name and we pray this over Merlinda your daughter Naomi we pray healing we pray salvation we pray wisdom and we pray guidance over her in Jesus name and let me see and we pray for Cheryl Williams uh, we pray for your miracle in Jesus' name, though you be hanging on by a thread, Cheryl Williams, we pray that God would strengthen that thread and make it a cord that is three strands and not easily broken. And we pray Psalm 30, verse 2, over your sister in Jesus' name. As should she need surgery, we pray that you would give the doctors wisdom and that her body would respond beautifully to, to surgery. But we ask that you would even go before and heal her in the name of Jesus. And I thank you. And I think that was kind of all of our healing, but I'll go through this later and make sure that I lift up every name before the Lord who needs healing. Here's our chorus for healing. Psalm 30 verse two, and it goes, and O oh Lord, my healing God, I cried out for a miracle. O oh Lord, my healing God, and you healed me. Once again. O oh Lord, my healing God, I cried out for a miracle. O oh Lord, my healing God, and you healed me. And we sing it out tonight. We sing it out over your family, Sandra. We sing it out over you, Sally. Oh God, we thank you for healing. Is it your spine? In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we lift up Emily too. That, oh God, just no spots on the lungs in the name of Jesus. And I'm singing straight from the Passion Translation. And this is the key. This is what's beautiful. Because when I'm singing out the Passion Translation word for word, that it says in Hebrews 4, the Word of God is alive and full of living power. And that means that it is already going out and it's targeting you and it's targeting your family right now in the name of Jesus. And we, we, we send this out, uh, Tanya Bell, uh, we, we send it out to one of your sisters diagnosed with lung cancer and Beverly diagnosed with multiple melanoma and cardiac. So Lord, I thank you for your word. And I'm going to sing it out again. Oh Lord, my healing God, I 
cried out for a miracle oh lord my healing god and you healed tanya's sister you healed her you healed beverly in the name of jesus in the name of jesus it's simply your word and it says here i am alive and well here i am fully restored that's the word of god psalm 30 verse 2. and i pray that over you surely want that your soul would be touched and healed even tonight and i say this in jesus name god bless everyone i want to i want to invite you on tuesday this coming tuesday whatever date that is what is it what is a week from today is tuesday the 22nd i will be on again at 6 p.m i'll be on youtube and also facebook um so so jump on again uh and also we have hours and hours and hours of of youtube soaking you can subscribe to that and literally it's all the word of god uh, and there's also lots of free soaking on youtube so you can just listen to that some of it is eight hours just turn it on it is all my son playing his um and you know just acoustic and it's it's soothing and it's anointed and then there's lots of soaking just from the psalms um available also so check that out uh check out my new book 30 days of praying the psalms king david's keys for victory you can get that at juliemeyerministries.com and anyway i will continue to pray and i will also continue to uh, i want to see you again in a week and i'll be prophesying again i'm traveling this thursday so i will not be on but anyway, God bless you. Okay, here's my new soaking for our into the river.net. And it's this right here. And I'll tell you what, this, this is healing from the soul. This is healing for the soul. It is Song of Solomon, chapter two. I sang the whole chapter. And it goes, and I am a rose i am a rose i am a rose blooming and i am a rose the lily of the valley i'm gonna sing it again mm. and i am a rose, mm. and I am a rose blooming, and I am a rose, the lily of the valley, and I sing it out over you tonight, a wild flower picked from the plains of Sharon, a rose that grows in the deep, deep canyons. I love that part. I am truly his rose. The very theme of his song, I am. The rose. So guess what? Rolanda, you and your family, and Deborah, and Catherine, and Sean Davis, and Tanya, and uh, Elisa. Is that if I'm saying your name right? Um, you are the rose. And Sean, and Shirley, and Reigns of Healing, and Joy, you are the rose. So anyway, amen and amen. Come back a week from tonight at 6 o'clock, 
and I'm going to be singing one of our psalms for you. God bless you. Amen, amen.